that a tentative agreement has been hammered out between the government and the Naga national political groups in is the only safe conclusion that can be drawn from the palace held between the two sides in the capital over the past few weeks. 22 years is a bit too long for the talks to reach the decisive phase but bringing the Naga national political groups in on board has been a huge success whose ramifications would be felt in the region for a long time. Beyond the tough posturing by both the sides are compulsions that prevented a breakdown of the peace process. There are ample reasons for the government to include Naga national political groups M in the agreement and for the rebel group to wish not to be excluded. Naga national political group SIM knows very well that it would be left with limited options if the government crystallizes the agreement with the six other rebel outfits known as Naga national political groups. Much has changed since 1975 when the infamous Shillong Accord prompted disgruntled rebels to join hands with Myanmar's Nagas to float the Naga national political groups. It may not be as simple now to return to the jungles and much less easy to operate out of camps in Myanmar for a longer duration. The Myanmar army can no longer be taken for granted after the series of operations executed since January at Taga in Hakuang Valley which compelled most of the outfits to die for cover and shift to safer locations. But Naga National Political Group SIM still has the resources to give a harrowing time to the Indian security forces for a few years or to the civil administration through agitations and road blockades. It has a network that not only spans the entire region but across the border in many countries. And that may be enough to slow down some vital projects in the northeast and upset the government's projections. The center has firmed up ambitious plans for the region entailing a crisscross of arteries through air, rail and water that will link the area to far-off capitals in Asia. In both the schemes, called Bharatmala and Sagarmala, the northeast has a pivotal role and is envisaged to develop as a commercial hub. It is not known whether the government has taken the environmental implications into consideration or the preparedness of the region while framing the schemes. This is a different chapter which merits greater attention and discussion. Mizoram will connect Azol with Sokothar in Champhai district and beyond to Tidim and Mandalay in Myanmar. Again, the infrastructure would have to be upgraded on both sides of the border for seamless flow of traffic. The Indian government is engaged in road construction in Tidim but the project may take some years to complete. This leaves the two highways that passes through Manipur but the same story is discernible as well with the one that connects him with Silchar in Assam through Jiriban. So in the current scenario, the other highway through Nagaland connecting Damapa and Kohima to more in Manipur on the border and to Assam and beyond on the other end appears to be the only feasible route that could be upgraded and operationalized within a few years.